Right, as ever, run, it seems to be running out of storage space, so I'm just mounting up two redneck shells um, to put, well, tools and bits, and then I'm going to try and keep the top one empty for just random pump bits that seem to always just accumulate on the bench in the way. Uh, Chris is working on the oil filling system because we've got our waste oil tank in here which feeds the fuel cars and then also the uh, boiler via the fuel line there. Um, but at the moment we've got to tip stuff in the top there. But obviously when you drain the oil out of something it's normally in a bucket, etc. And it's a right fast and as you can see by the end of the tank, quite a lot gets spilt and it's not ideal. Um, so the idea is to have like a sump pit thing here with a 240 volt pump to pump it in the top. I think that's what that discharge pipe there is. Uh, so we'll just have to tip it in here, which A means it's at normal level and B it's a nice big opening. So it's easy to tip it in without spilling it everywhere. So that should be good. I think Chris is just working on some fittings uh, to get that pumping. So we'll update on that once he's further into the lash. Right, the uh, oil pumping system is in place. As you can see, we have pre-filled with some sump oil. Um, Chris has just got the pump mounted down the corner. It's a central heating pump with some uh, pipe jubilee on the end. So Chris, if you want to do the... Uh... Oh fuck, she's floating. Christ. Look at it go. I'll slow her down if that's too fast. No, I want her flat out. Oh, that's going to make putting oil in there an absolute piece of piss. That is fucking win. And anyway, back to the shelving project. Well, I got me a pair of shelves up there and now I got a bit carried away so I couldn't resist all my and some other stuff. So I'm just drilling some holes in our uh, brie fucking walls, or cheesy walls as we call them. Because there isn't much to them. Friggin' right! Shelves on the wall, boys. Really getting carried away now. Putting them all up on the wall. I think I might wall mount that bad boy as well. It's making quite a lot of extra uh, bench space. Chris, what the frig is going on? Oh, he's fucked it right up now. Uh oh, on that note. Lash up! <laughs> the fucking hell are you doing, man? Fucking, that, seriously, what the fuck? <laughs> Who the fuck put that there? <laughs> fucking leave. Oh, there she goes. Mind the stereo. Oh, I was more worried about the light bulb, Chris. Uh, You're just dusting that window off a bit, isn't it, Chris? Yeah, that's working nicely. Try not to set the workshop on fire. Try. Put the oil down there. I hope there's no spiders in there. Yeah, we've just gonna just, we've, we've got a bit carried away here. Look, we got all of this lot on the wall now, uh, and the jubilee rack. And now we got carried away, so we're gonna put another shelf up on the end wall here, so we can put all the chemicals up this end, uh, spare parts up this end, and clear the bench basically, so we'd have a bit more space. Right, we finished tidying down that end. Um, as you can see, the bench is as clear as it's been for quite some time. We've basically shelved all the oil, all the trays of sort of washers, bolts, etc. Chris has just found a thing of Loctite. Um, oh, that's, that's thread sealing, I think, actually. Oh, it's, it's not Loctite, it's glue or something. Spare parts department, Jubilees, then we've got all the rack in here. And then we got the uh, tool trays and some other things, leaving the bench fairly clear apart from all the normal trays. But all every single one is bloody full already, which is a bit of an issue. A couple of blue trays I think empty, but all of these are full, and we don't have enough drawers. Frig's eggs. Oh dear, <laughs> that can wait for another day. <laughs>